Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be talking about the installation part of our Python automation series. So the first thing we have to install is Python itself. So I'll put all the link, all the links in the description by the way. So you can just go to python.org here and in here you can see in the downloads tab it'll automatically select the current operating system. So download for Windows and it will have Python 3.8. 8.5 now um, you can just download the latest version whatever it be but I recommend that it should be at least 3.8 not below that so that you know uh, the, the uh, code that we uh, that I am gonna be writing would be compatible in your version as well so just download that I have already downloaded that so uh, as you can see Python 3.8.5 just double click on that it's just the normal installation much like we do and you can just say um, uh, install now here but important thing here is um, I have downloaded the 32-bit version now remember that um, uh, it's up to you uh, your system architecture 64 bit or 32 bit, 32 bit or 64 bit but my system is still 30, uh, 64 bit but um, I don't know how it uh, the default download is 32 bit so uh, what, what you can do is just cancel out of this one and go back into there and in the download section um, we'll go to this Windows tab here so that we can download the appropriate version so uh, what I'll go uh, into is this one Python 3.8.5 we have that x86 64 executable installer the executable installer this one just download that if you are a 64-bit user so just click on that it will automatically download that stuff but um, I'll not actually install this one because I already have that so I'll just show you the the, uh, uh, the way of installing it uh, it's, it'll be the same exact step um, and what you can do is this step is very important add Python 3.8 to path just tick on that and it's very important otherwise we'll get some errors and just tick that and click install now and it will automatically starts to install but since I, I do have Python I'll not install that and click no and I'll just cancel in your case it will be installed successfully now if everything goes fine you can just go to terminal uh, or excuse me command prompt and you can just start in to type Python and you can see that Python 3.8.1 my version is 3.8.1 no, no issues with that anything which is um, greater than or equal to 3.8 is acceptable so uh, if everything goes fine you can see uh, this kind of shell input here so that's about the Python installation now, if you have any errors please feel free to comment below so that I can help you out now with that being said the next thing we have to install is the um, selenium package so this is the selenium package so this is what we are going to be using with our um, web automation this is a package specifically made for web automation so um, we'll, we'll actually interact with this one in, in the videos in the automation videos so as for the installation uh, again the links will be in the description section just go to this link and in here you can see the installation part just click on that and in here the first thing you have to install is that package itself through pip now pip is the package manager for python so just copy this line of code here pip install selenium and back into the terminal or the command prompt you can just paste that in here pip install selenium and click enter and uh, it will automatically install that package for you so in my case you can see it's a requirement already satisfied that's because I already have selenium package installed so in our case it will automatically install that now um, uh, that's about the selenium the first step now the next step is drivers so um, this is a kind of uh, browser specific so I'm using Chrome browser so I need to click on this link to download that driver now remember driver is something which enables us to talk to this browser so we'll be actually automating 
you know, you'll get to know what I'm saying currently uh, when we actually start to implement the project. So um, I highly recommend you to download Chrome if you're not using it because we'll be using Chrome uh, throughout the entire series. So you get the same exact shortcuts, everything uh, what I'm doing in your machine as well if you use Chrome. Now, of course, you you're feel, feel free to use any of the browsers as you wish, but I recommend Chrome. So uh, if you're using Chrome, just click on this one here, um, just this link to download that Chrome driver. So just click on that and it will automatically uh, redirect to another page. Now in here you can see some download links here, but uh, what you can do is uh, you need to check your Chrome version so that you can download the appropriate version. So just go to these three dots up at the top and click on help and about Google Chrome. Now you can see your Chrome version here. So my version is 84. So what I can do is uh, back into here in the downloads. If you're using Chrome version 84, just click on this link here, the second link. In my case, in your case, it may it might be 85 or 83. Whatever it will be, just click the appropriate link and you will be redirected to this page. Now in here, um, you can see Win32. Now even though 64 is not available, it, this would actually suffice. So just click on this Win32 zip and it will actually download that stuff. Now um, it's downloading. So back into uh, the desktop, you can see that um, Chrome driver. I'm not sure where, where it is downloaded. So this one, as you can see, Chrome driver Win32. So I, I already have one. So that's why the, uh, the second one renamed as one. So just unzip this one. So I'm using uh, extract to Chrome driver Win32 here. So I already have that step done. So um, I'll just say yes to all. Now you can see that Chrome driver um, here, this folder, Chrome driver underscore Win32. Now what you, what you possibly do is if we look into that folder, you can see just uh, an application, Chrome driver. So what you can possibly do is copy this folder here, just control C and uh, back into the um, um, files files here just go to C drive ISC now in here what you can do is um, just make a folder named Chrome driver so you can see here Chrome driver a folder so just double click on that and just paste in whatever you copied from there so in your case it will be inside the folder just copy that uh, that Chrome driver from there just the Chrome driver and put that inside so I'll get it off this one because I already have so the step is simple in the C drive just create a Chrome driver uh, folder and inside that paste in the chrome driver.exe so I'll get rid of this other one here so that's what is the uh, the kind of Chrome driver. Now with this being said, everything is perfect. Now um, the only thing we are left to do is um, the VS Code. I will be using VS Code as the editor, as the code editor. So uh, you can of course use anything like Sublime or Atom. That's up to you, but we'll be using VS Code throughout the entire series. So um, I'd recommend you to download that as well. Uh, the links will be in the description section. So with that being said, the installation part is over now we'll move straight into the automation the projects the real-time projects from the next video so if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one